Good evening and lovely evening. Greetings, good morning, good afternoon, good whatever. Welcome back again. Waste your time productively. This is a common statement that I tell my learners of English when it comes to learning English in a productive and entertaining and interesting way. What is going on? (laughs) How do we waste our time productively? Now, wasting our time productively does not mean something negative. It doesn't have any negative connotation. It's simply giving yourself a chance to enjoy learning something during your free time or your restricted time of freedom that is given to you or imposed on you by your office, by your family, by your friends, during your stuck time in traffic. Nowadays, there's this thing that a lot of employees in government, for example, struggle with. They don't have enough time or they don't seem to have enough time to learn new things like learning a new skill, learning a language, no matter what language that is, or dedicating some time to studying or learning something or watching tutorials. So what we can do, because normally when you wake up in the morning and you have work to go to do it, you don't think of the creative skills or the creative ideas or plans that you're going to present to your director or your manager. You're thinking of how many hours you're going to get stuck in traffic before you reach out to your office. So during this time, you can waste your time productively. What you can do the night before, try to download three or four videos from YouTube in any field or anything that you're interested in learning about, whether that's photography, light, cinema, art, drawing, lenses, cameras, direction, any kind of skill or any kind of field you're interested to learn about, you can download videos from internet, whether that's as a form of audio, so you can listen to it in your um, in your car or using your headphones or watching it in your time in the car or when you are at work and you have relatively shorter break to watch, or you can just plug in your headphones and start listening to it. Now, this podcast is going to walk you through some of these steps that I normally do and I have incorporated by myself during my daily drive of the things that I do um, from the point that I wake up to the point that I go to sleep. When I wake up in the morning, I take the breakfast time as a time to usually check out Twitter and see what kind of news that there are on Twitter Uh, regarding vaccines or regarding the world news or uh, Middle East news. After that, I start, um, after that, I start watching YouTube. Maybe I watch one or two videos from my favorite channels because I have a list of favorite channels within the field of photography and videography, videography specifically. And then after that, when I head to work, if I have work in the morning or study at university. I spend the time in the morning either listening to news from NPR or BBC English because these are some sort of authentic news that they tell you with less level of bias compared to other news agencies. And then when I arrive at work, if I have time, I will dedicate it to read one article or two articles from popular newspapers like Washington Post or New York Times or Newsweeks or Time. And then upon returning home, I put my phone in my car and then I turn on the YouTube videos that I uh, downloaded earlier in the morning. And then I start watching them or listening to them because I don't want to get distracted watching them while driving uh, my my car. Then I watch three or four um, videos, maybe more, maybe less, depending on the amount of time I'll spend hitting the road going back home. And then when I arrive home, I take a break. And during the break time, I dedicate that time to my family. I don't usually watch videos or something. And then if I have time, I can teach my children some short stories or something like that. And then in the evening before going to sleep, I dedicate that time particularly to reading. And I do reading um, that is 
relatively simple. I'm, I'm reaching a level of exhaustion from the traffic, from the amount of duties that I do in the morning. So I don't push hard on myself in the morning. I push hard on myself in the morning actually, but before I go to sleep, I dedicate 15 minutes to do some reading. And the reading that I do is for fun and for learning and for enriching my knowledge about my field or outside the, the, the field of my interest. Choose English, linguistics, applied linguistics, methods of teaching English, also some encyclopedic knowledge about the world, about animals. Maybe I end up watching a short animal documentary with my family. If I don't have enough time or if I get a guest, I'm not going to be able to achieve that. I will have to diverge and take a day tour to pay attention uh, to the guests and then serve them some food and hot drinks during winter time and then ending up changing my clothes and going back to sleep. During this time, I can sum up that I have productively wasted two to three hours of my day while I'm driving, not doing anything, by watching something productive. And this is what you have to do. This is something that you should invest in and gradually hit the point of satisfaction with it by at least productively wasting one hour of your time in the road, listening to something useful and enriching to your knowledge. I hope this podcast was useful to you. If it is, please share with your friends and stay in touch for other podcastage like this.